Welcome to part 4 of this series. Uh, there's quite a bit of time since I uploaded the last video. Uh, it's because I have two projects to deliver to the client and thanks for your patience. Now we are done with everything that has to do with CG. Uh, it's time to prepare for the shoot. First what I'm gonna do is separate our character from everything and analyze the way light falls on her. So let's get started. Let me first widen this window a bit, uh, select any parts of your character, hover your mouse on this area and press I to locate where exactly it is. Select the bone and shift select the bottom to select everything in between. Press M to add our character into new collection. I'll explain why in a bit. Select the rest, drag and drop to this collection. Now we're gonna enable all these toggles. Let's look through render view. So I'm just gonna enable this render view. Now simply enable the mask icon. This will hide everything inside this collection but uh, the scene will uh, react with everything so that we can concentrate on just the character. Now let's render without the fog. Let's change this from 3D viewport to shader editor, then change this to the world. I remove this principal volume. I'm gonna render this frame again just to make sure that I get the lighting precisely. Now go back to 3D view and render different angles for more reference. I'm gonna add a new camera by hitting Shift A, camera. So click on this icon to make a new camera active. Press Ctrl, Alt and 0 on the number pad. So this will place our camera to our current view. Adjust a bit so that we can see our face more clearly. So that's it for now. I know it's kinda short, but if we miss this part, it's really hard to guess how exactly should we light our character in the real world. So never skip this phase. So if you like uh, this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more video like this. Uh, see you in the next part. Bye-bye.